Hello, my name is Matthew. I'm the lead CT radiographer at One Wild Back Imaging and Diagnostics. So a standing CT is a way of imaging the feet and ankles um, so that the patient is standing up weight bearing. Um, this differs from a standard x-ray. Uh, the standing CT is more like a conventional uh, CT scanner, um, except for it uses a lower radiation um, and a more focused beam of x-rays, so it just catches the feet and ankles. So you would use a standing CT for the more um, functional aspect or functional assessment of the feet and ankles. So when the patient is standing uh, and they're having their pictures taken, you can assess things like ligamentous damage or the spaces between the bones. So uh, something called a Liz Frank uh, fracture means that the ligament will, will separate and you get a really good view of that when there's a pressure being applied through the foot, which is okay with x-ray but not possible with traditional laying down CT as it were. Um, so that helps us to assess the ligamentous damage um, and if there's any separation in the ligament of the say the syndesmosis which is the little ligament that attaches around the ankle bone as well. A standard CT scan differs from a, a regular conventional CT scan first of all as it's standing so the patient is standing up on the platform and the CT scanner will be rotating around their feet and ankles as opposed to a conventional scanner where the patient will be lying down and they will go feet first into the scanner. The obvious difference is that one is standing so you get the weight bearing. Um, the less obvious difference is that in CT conventionally we have a broad beam of x-rays that take a lot of information at once um, through the patient with standing CT, it uses something called a cone beam, so it uses a much narrower beam of x-rays, uh, which helps us to reduce the radiation dose as well. The radiation dose is one of the big benefits. So you're getting a full assessment of the foot and ankle, inclusive of um, reproduced x-ray images that you would normally have to take separately um, for a much reduced dose. It's a standardized dose, so it's a little bit like when you go to the dentist and you have a picture where the machine revolves around your head and takes the picture, it's the same principle of that. So it's a much lower dose. It's very, very quick. It's also very accessible for patients. So if patients can't fully weight bear, you're able to sit down on the scanner and apply as much pressure as you can through the area being CT scanned. Another benefit for the patients is that the scanner is open. And so you walk into the CT scanner um, you hold on to two railings as the scan happens uh, whilst you're with the radiographer in the room um, and or if you're unable to wait there you can sit down um, and apply pressure through your feet if that's necessary. You won't be going into a tunnel um, as conventionally seen as CT or MRI. So another benefit for standing CT is that from the patient point of view, the uh, appointment can take just 10 minutes from entering the center, being scanned, and then being allowed to go on, your, on with your day. Um, it can take just over an hour for the doctors to receive the pictures, um, but that's due to the post-processing that the radiographer does once the patient leaves.